Hey, it's your boy Chili here. Just a very quick update on what I've been doing in the Chill Engine. I made progress. I have my Sprite Batcher up and running, as you can see here. It took a little bit to just get some stuff ironed out, but it's working, and it is working nicely with multiple swap chains, multiple windows. They're all running on separate threads. I can drag this one, I can drag the window. It doesn't freeze that window. It doesn't freeze any of the other windows. They're all running independent of each other, but still under the same process. So they all share the same memory space, which would make things a lot easier if you're trying to like, let's say, program, you know, a local multiplayer kind of game. So yeah, it's working. It's working nicely. Got lots of sprites here. Next stuff on my list is, uh, so this stuff doesn't work in release right now. And I've got some ideas as to like why it's not working in release, but I gotta, I gotta debug that. I gotta fix it, get them both working. And you know, then I'm just gonna be fleshing out the, the sprite batcher, testing out different things, getting an idea of like, what's the direction I'm heading? What's the, what's the architecture? How, what layers am I gonna set up? What interfaces in each layer? How am I gonna compose things? Probably like a monolithic, like right now, the sprite batcher is just a big monolithic class. I'm probably gonna break that down into smaller components so that it's easier to, you know, customize it. You don't have to inherit from the giant monolith. If you wanna just, you know, customize this aspect of it. You can just inject a smaller component that you've inherited from and customized. So that sort of deal. And once I got, you know, a, a better idea of the direction we're heading, what kind of architecture we're going to be going for, then I can start to look at, okay, so what's the next step for an actual video that we're going to lay down? But yeah, that's where we are at right now. And I've noticed that if I, if I run, like, if I open, like, like 10 windows or 15 windows things start to slow down a lot even if you don't have a lot of sprites being drawn so it's not like a gpu issue uh, so i don't know about that i mean it might not be viable to just have like any number of windows but i i know from experience that it seems like three is probably like there's no real issue with it at least for a 2d game i think there might be some like synchronization going on behind the scenes with the these multiple swap chains so yeah like i'm saying it's probably not, it might not be viable to run a lot of windows if you want to hit high frame rates without any latency. Um, but I'm, I'm suspecting that two windows should not really present any sort of issue. And that's really the main use case that I'm targeting for you to play like two people, two people playing locally. You've got two monitors. That's a beautiful thing if you can uh, if you can swing that. So there's stuff to look at, and that's, it'll be better to look at once I've got the uh, the release stuff working. Because right now I'm in debug, and that might also be messing things up, especially since I'm using you know debug layers for Direct 3D and Direct DXGI. But yeah, that's where we're at. Just wanted to keep you guys in the loop, and uh, I'll let you know when there's when there's more developments.